What's up guys, Pastor Joseph here from Chula Vista. And today we're gonna to be talking about Luke chapter 22. Growing up, one of the things which I did not like experiencing was the disappointment of my parents. I did not like feeling as if I had let them down. And the emotions that I would feel when I had failed them was just something I did not enjoy and not something that I would like to recur over and over. And in Luke chapter 22, we find that Jesus is with his disciple towards the end of his ministry. And Peter gets up and tells Jesus, Jesus, I am willing to go to prison and to die for you. Bold statement by Peter. But then we see Jesus' response is not something you would expect from somebody who just told you that they are willing to die for you. Jesus goes on to tell Peter, Peter, before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. And then we fast forward a little bit. Jesus has now been arrested. He's being taken to the house of the high priest. And we see that Peter is following Jesus at a distance. And many times we tend to follow Jesus at a distance as well. You know, sometimes we're scared to get close to him. We're scared to build a relationship with him. We're scared of letting him in because we don't want to fail him. We don't want Jesus to be disappointed in and as we keep on going through scripture, we see that Peter eventually denied Jesus three times. And in verse 61, it says that the Lord looked up and looked at Peter. I remember those times where, when I had disappointed my parents, that the look that they would give, give me was not one of anger. Rather, it was one of sadness. A look that said, how could you do this to me? And then, Scripture tells us Peter went up and he wept bitterly. But here's the thing. Jesus knows that we're going to fail. Jesus knew that Peter was going to fail. Because before all of this happened, before P Peter's bold statement, we see that Jesus tells Peter, Peter, I am praying for you. So that when the times comes and you do fail, you can get back up and come and help your brother. A wise man once told me, when you trip and fall, it means that you're going to And the awesome thing is that no matter when we trip and fall, we know that Christ is going to be there to pick us up. And I assure you that may happen in your life. You know, nowadays everything is so competitive, school, sports, even life, you know, trying to get to the top. And that may cause you to fail at some things that you did not think you would be failed. But I can assure you, that Christ will always be there to pick you up and tell you, I am here. Let us continue this journey together. So my three questions for you guys are, first, how do you deal with disappointment and failure? Secondly, when have you experienced failure or disappointment and how did you use it to turn it into an opportunity of growth? And for my last question, what can you do to help others when they are dealing with failures? May God bless you and hope to see you again soon.